A plan to allow crossbow hunters to shoot deer in the town of Elizabeth is drawing fire itself. 7 News reporter Russell Haythorne has this story that's new at 5. Russell, one of the concerns is whether this would be humane. Mike, Colorado Parks and Wildlife believes this is very humane. And they say in most bow hunts this day and age, all of the meat is recovered. And in this case, it would be donated to local food banks. The town believes this may be the best way to control what they believe is an out of control herd. Norma Emerson is a big fan of the deer that roam her yard almost daily. We love living here because of the wildlife out here. One even gave birth in her backyard last year. This is another close up of one of the babies. But she is not a fan of the town of Elizabeth's proposal to thin the herd by allowing a limited bow hunt within city limits. I believe it's a very bad plan. Town administrators say complaints are on the rise, that the deer population is out of control. Deer are causing more traffic accidents, destroying yards, spreading disease, and attracting predators like mountain lions. So there's clearly a problem here. The town says it's considering all its options, sterilizing the herd, tranquilizing and relocating them, or a bow hunt. Highly qualified and skilled bow hunters in very well-defined geographic areas. Colorado Parks and Wildlife says there is a precedent for this. We can work very closely with the town um, and vet how many, uh, what kind of hunters are in there, what their experience is. Experienced or not, the issue is creating uneasiness amongst a few. So now we're going to have a guy shooting an arrow at them and they're going to be bleeding out down the street. The possibility of deer roaming around town with arrows protruding is extremely remote. Without the deer, um, there is no Elizabeth, Colorado. The town of Elizabeth says this bow hunt would likely take place at night, out of the public eye and in a very defined space. They say no decisions will be made anytime soon. They're going to allow for a public comment period and then decisions will be made in the month of May. Live in Elizabeth, Russell Haythorn, 7 News. 7 News viewers are the first to tell us about this story. And if you have a story idea, send us a picture, video, or email just by selecting Tell 7 News on your 7 News app.